Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day it is for you. My name is Eva Marie Everson. I am the president of Word Weavers International and also the director of Florida Christian Writers Conference. You may notice that my favorite partner in crime, Taryn Suters, is not here today. Uh, it is a Wednesday and Taryn volunteers uh, at a, a, a local, for her, a local thrift store um, that is a ministry type uh, thrift store that helps with the homeless and 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 things like that. So uh, we we're giving Taryn a, a good pass today. But I will tell you who I have with me today, and that is Kathy Bruins and Kim Devlecourt. Um, they came. Uh, I don't remember who it was. I think it might have been uh, you, Kim. Came to me several years ago. I was at a conference uh, up in Minnesota, I believe it was, and. Um, had an idea for the Florida conference and uh, just kind of laid it out in front of me and said, this is like a book proposal studio and it would be a wonderful thing to have at your Florida conference. And we ran with it and it has been just the most wonderful thing we've had people say, you know, if, if this is all I came for, it was worth it. So uh, let me thank you both of you again for being here and just ask you to tell us a little bit about what the Book Proposal Studio is, uh, and then how that relates to the eight-hour continuing book proposal class that, that follows it. So uh, I'll, I'll let the two of you run with this for a few moments. All right, thank you. Uh, the Book Proposal Studio is basically we go through all the steps of putting together a book proposal. And we send out homework before time so that there's some preparation already done because even in three hours, it goes by in a flash. And we give you all the information, all the tools that you need to put together a book proposal, but there just isn't the time to put the whole thing together. But we would love to journey with you in that. So that is why we've added on the extra eight hours so that we can be there side by side, helping you complete that book proposal. And um, I have found that it has been very helpful for many people who have taken that extra eight hours. Um, I'm gonna let you continue, Kim. Well, well and I was gonna say, Kim, oh. uh, how many times have I heard, I would rather write the book three times over than the book proposal once? <laughs> Why is that so true? It is true. We all hate it is. proposals. It is. It's, I refer to it as building a business case. Mm -hmm. So there's the artistic side, right, of writing the book itself or the article, whatever you're doing, right? And then the, um, the book proposal is building the business case. Why should the publisher invest thousands of dollars in your book idea? And as authors, being responsible for 50% or more of our own book sales now, yes. we need to understand this too. And I even think it's helpful. Now I write my book proposals first before I sit down to write the book. Mm -hmm. I need to be convinced that there's a business case for it, for me to invest my time in God's kingdom for it. Right. So um, that's what we're doing. There is no one way to write a book proposal what we're showing you is a very generic form so that you can understand each of the different areas that go into a book proposal. And then we always advise you to look at either the um, agent or the publishing house's mm -hmm. own example of how they would like it written. And then you'll say, oh yeah, I know what they're doing. They're, they're doing comparisons here. You know, and you'll understand those different building blocks. You know, I, th this just really hit me. And, and for those of you who don't know, in a previous life, I was a nurse. Uh, but when I was in nursing school, uh, A and P or anatomy and physiology. Oh, my gosh. I was just I was struggling. And a very dear friend of my family uh, was a physician. He was he was actually a surgeon. And uh, he never minded if I called him and said, you know, explain this, explain that, you know, I'm, I'm going over the, the different notes that I had from the, from the previous day or that day. And so one evening he called me, I was just sitting down for dinner and he said, uh, what are you doing? And I said, well, we're you know, just about to sit down for dinner. And he said, well, don't eat anything, but meet me at this local funeral home. 
he was about to perform an extensive autopsy. And so I, I went and I observed this autopsy and he basically laid everything out for me. And I, I don't mean that graphically. I mean, Mike, you see this? Do you see this? Do you see how this connects to this? Da, 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 da. You know, and all of a sudden it all made sense to me. Now I have literally seen the human body opened out. I get it. It's not just one of those cellophane sheets, and things, you know, and uh, you're like, this is a circulatory system, you know, and that kind of thing. But once I saw it, I started acing everything. And I, I remember my teacher came up to me and she said, you've gone from a C student to an A student. Why? And I told her why. And she said, well, that makes sense. So in a way, you are the Dr. Hogsett of, of book proposals because <laughs> they're not that complicated. They're not that difficult, but we kind of approach them with a, I just don't understand, you know? And I think you just clear all that up for our conferees. That's, That's our right. goal. Yeah. We take the we'll fear start away. calling you Dr. Bruins and Dr. Devlin. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, that is so wonderful. So uh, I, I do want to stress this to our listeners. If you're thinking about, okay, yeah, I know, you know, I've, I've already written my book or I'm about to start writing my book or, you know, I've, I've got this idea that I'm, I'm tossing around, but I really am confused about book proposals. And I want to take this class. I want to take the studio that's on Wednesday afternoon. As Kathy mentioned, it's a three hour class. And, and then I, I want to take the eight hours. There is an extra charge for this. You will find that at the website, but um, you will you will then let us know. Yes, I have registered for that for the book proposal studio. We will in turn let Kim and Kathy know, and they will get the information to you that they want you to have pre conference. So this is not just you know right before the conference during the conference. This is even a pre conference gift that we have for you. It's absolutely. Wonderful. So um, we're going to do a lightning round, just like uh, like we do with everybody. Are you ready for this? Because we want, we want our listeners to get to know you <laughs> just a little bit better. Okay, so ready? Ready. Ready. Okay, ready. So I'm going to ask the question and then Kathy, you can answer. Kim, you can answer. You know, just take your turns. Right. Ready. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Oh, split decision. <laughs> it would be hard for me to Kim. It would be. All right. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. 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 Okay. Morning or evening? Morning. For writing, morning. <laughs> okay. All right. For, for living, evening. <laughs> Mountains or beach? Beach. Beach. Okay. All right. Your favorite holiday? Christmas. 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 Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. We, we interviewed Lori Hatcher yesterday. She says, can I say my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's, a, here's one you're going to have to think about. Just a moment. You're having dinner with a famous person, dead or alive, but it's not Jesus. Who is it? Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa. Yeah. And why? Hi, Kathy. What is it about Mother Teresa? Because she is such a special person and is so close when she was alive, so close to God mm. and uh, listening to him and uh, serving his people in such awesome ways that are incredible. So she I had, just, she had a, a, an amazing amount of wisdom, did she not? Yeah. Yes, she did. She did. What about you, Kim? Well, Mother Teresa was going to be one of my guesses too, but I was also, I'm also really intrigued by the whole um, Deborah story from the mm. Bible. Mm. And I, I wouldn't mind spending an evening with her. Yeah, she was a, she was a tough broad as we would yeah. say. <laughs> All right, final question. If you knew that tonight's meal was your last meal, what would it include? Lasagna. Mm. Woman after my own heart. 
We'll go have that last meal together, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Kathy? I, I would have to say shrimp Alfredo. Mm. Mm. I just had that. I just, I was at the coast along the coast of Georgia. And that was my first meal while I was there. What, uh, oh my gosh, steamed shrimp in a, you know, uh, with linguine and an Alfredo sauce and dear heavens, it was so good. <laughs> and so oh. good for you. <laughs> yeah, because it was, you know, fresh catch. So it was wild Georgia shrimp and oh, it was so good. And it, you know, when you get to that place where, you know, I just can't eat another bite, but I hate leaving you. I hate <laughs> leaving you, <laughs> so, but I just had to. Hey, ladies, thank you so much for joining us today or me today, since Taryn's not here with us, but uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the service that you've given to the Florida Christian Writers Conference. We're so excited to see every year uh, what happens within your class, and we're excited about it this year as well. If you have not made a decision yet about uh, joining us this year at, for Florida Christian Writers Conference. It is in October, about the midway through. I believe it begins the 18th or the 19th. Don't quote me. I'm just the director. I don't know what date it is, but you can go to word-weavers.com forward slash Florida events and find out more about the conference and hopefully register. Now, I'm going to tell you, we are beginning to run out of rooms at the conference center, but we are working out something with a nearby hotel to get a block of rooms. So uh, don't panic, but if you wanna make sure you're staying on site, you will want to register as soon as possible. Kathy and Kim, thank you again for joining me and, uh, and we'll see you all next time. I, 